Okay, now uh, questions for electric potential and potential energy. Okay, uh, two point charges, uh, Q1 and Q2. Uh, one is a positive 12 nanocoulomb, another one is a negative 12 nanocoulomb. Uh, are separated by a distance of 8 cm. Okay, as shown in the figure below. So, determine the electric potential at point P. Okay, so we have to. Um, uh, pay a close attention to the what the questions ask. He asked for the potential. Uh, potential that means which is the uh, V. Okay, v. Um, at point P. Uh, so the position is at point P. Uh, so at this position, yeah, point P. So uh, these are the things you need to pay attention. Uh, well, um, as we know that potential. Okay, the formula is KQ over R. Okay, KQ over R. Potential is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity, uh, you don't need to, um, you know, you don't need to do XY component. Uh, scalar quantity, you don't need to draw the arrow. Uh, there's no arrow, there's no direction. Okay, uh, no vector. Yeah, just scalar quantity. Uh, no vector, no resolve X and Y components. Okay, so for scalar quantity, you just total up uh, just add up okay uh, just because a scalar quantity is just like a uh, one two three uh, without direction one two three uh, it's just like uh, two plus two become four three plus four become uh, seven just plus together you know uh, five plus uh, five become ten you know just add up so no direction no need to draw vector nothing okay uh, don't uh, we don't have x or y component no yeah so uh, the formula for potential is kq over r uh, plus kq over r uh, because we have a two-point charge you see here we have a two-point charge q1 and q2 if we have two-point charge here we will have two potential uh, yeah we have two potential because got two-point charge uh, provide two electric field we have two electric field we will have two uh, potential okay uh, so uh, just total up uh, use a kqr plus kqr yeah for this one we have a negative uh, negative point charge uh, the charge you need to substitute the negative sign uh, the charge you need to substitute the negative sign why because for scalar quantity like potential um you know uh later on later on after you do this question you will get uh, okay, this uh, Q1 is a positive point charge. Uh, after you substitute with positive point, uh, positive value of charge, you will get positive potential, isn't it? You get positive potential. Whereas this one, uh, point charge is negative. You, you substitute a negative point charge, you will get a negative potential. Uh, maybe this one you get positive 1000. Uh, this one you get uh, negative 2000. Maybe, yeah, maybe. What I'm saying is maybe. Uh, uh this one is a positive 1000 volt plus a negative one 2000 volt okay so for scalar quantity like potential the charge you need to substitute the negative sign why uh yeah uh, whereas the force and electric field the charge you ignore the negative sign uh okay as i mentioned before the the force and electric field you ignore you ignore the negative sign for the charge Okay, uh, like for example, look, let's look back. Uh, let's look back to this one. Uh, you see, like uh, this, this one, uh, the electric field, you ignore the, the charge, you ignore the negative sign because we just want to maintain, you know, we just want to maintain uh, the magnitude as positive value. Uh, uh, the vector, because electric field is a vector. Vector, to find the magnitude, uh, we just want a positive value for all the magnitude of the vector. Understand? Okay, so for vector, the charge we ignore, negative sign. But for a scalar quantity like potential, the charge, scalar quantity like potential, the charge you must have a negative sign. Why? Because this one, uh, the negative sign, the negative sign for potential is not about direction. It's not about direction. Uh, this, the negative sign, the negative sign in the scalar quantity like potential, the negative sign here is not about direction to the left or to the right. It's a scalar quantity. 
it's a scalar quantity so the negative sign in the scalar quantity carries a different meaning this negative sign is about the magnitude itself it's about the magnitude itself let's look back to the uh, summary uh, you have learned before about potential still remember the number scale the number scale uh, where you have a negative 500 and positive 500 what's the difference between 500 and negative 500 is it the direction uh, negative here means um, uh, to the left this one the the negative sign here means is it direction to the left and positive here direction is uh, uh, to the right no this negative and positive here means about the magnitude negative 500 is the lowest positive 500 is the highest it's about the magnitude itself uh, you see you have a here you have a high potential low potential you see um, uh, like you see here, uh, po low potential is negative 50, high potential is uh, po negative 5. The negative sign in potential itself is not about direction, it's about the magnitude itself. Uh, related to the number scale, according to the number scale, the, the more and more negative, the more and the more negative is not direction more to the left, no. The more and more negative in the uh, scalar quantity, yeah, in the scalar quantity, the more and more negative means the lower the value, the lower level, the value, the less negative, the less negative of the scalar quantity, uh, it means the higher the value. Okay, enough for that. Uh, I think you understand already, right? So the negative sign here doesn't mean about uh, direction. It's about some, uh, for scalar quantity, the negative sign is about magnitude. Okay. So now I want to uh, solve the questions. Okay, enough of chit chat. Now, um, so for k is a uh, nine exponent nine, nine exponent nine, uh, and then for q one, what's the q one? Q one is a uh, twelve nano coulomb. Nano is negative nine. Nano is exponent negative nine. Uh, exponent negative nine. So excuse me, uh, and then divided by the distance okay how far is it uh r1 from um yeah how far is it r1 uh, q1 from p uh this is the distance okay let's find out the distance so uh this is the distance sorry uh yeah so this is the distance okay this is the r1 so this r1 is uh you know, this is a Pythagoras, uh, this is a right angle triangle, so 8, 6, 10. So the R1 should be 10, 10 cm. Uh, and this 6 cm is R2. Okay? Uh, okay, let's move on. So R1 is 10 cm, so it's 0 0.1 meter. Uh, for scalar quantity potential, the R no square. No square, the R no square. Unlike the force and electric field, the R has square. But for potential, the R no square. Uh, be careful of that. Huh? Uh, different. Huh? Different from the vector like force and electric field. For scalar quantity, the R no square. So, okay, let's move on. So our K cube 2, K cube 2, uh, 9 exponent 9 times. So Q2 is a negative, negative point charge. So um, remember, for scalar quantity, the charge you must substitute the negative sign. Yeah, the charge you must substitute the negative sign. Uh, make it big. Yeah, the negative. Uh, so the negative uh, is a negative charge. You must you must substitute the negative sign. It's negative twelve nano coulomb also. Okay, twelve nano. So sometimes uh, it's hard. You don't have the value q one q two q two here. Uh, you have to look back to the questions. Why not? Uh, next time. You um, put the value there also. Eh? We put the value there. So easy for you to refer the value. Uh, this is uh, 12 nanocolumn. Uh, this is uh, negative 12 nanocolumn. So next time, once you put the value here all in the diagram, uh, then easy for you to uh, plug in the value into the equations. You don't have to look up to the question again, isn't it? Uh, better you write everything in your diagram. Uh, okay? Uh, but make sure the diagram become not messy lah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, the charge must have negative sign for scalar quantity. And then the R is a uh, 6 cm, so change to meter is uh, divided by 100, 0 0.06 meter. Okay, so I got it. Uh, so uh, 
in the end, uh, so I got the answer as um, uh, the value is negative, uh, negative uh, 720 Joe per column. Uh, why the unit is Joe per column? Uh, because uh, potential, potential is uh, poten uh, electric potential energy per unit te uh, test charge, per unit positive test charge. So the energy is Joe charge is column, so joule per column. Or you can also write as volt, uh, volt itself. Okay, so it is, uh, uh, you can also write as the unit volt. Okay, uh, write as unit volt. So either unit can be, either unit can be accepted. So remember, potential is a scalar quantity, is, it doesn't have direction, no direction, uh, only magnitude. Okay, so, is the negative sign here means about direction to the left or downward? No, this negative, this negative itself shows the potential at point P is very negative. The potential at the potential at point P is very negative. It's actually very low potential. You understand that? It's very low potential. So negative here, this negative here, it, it uh, okay. Uh, just want to emphasize again and again. And the negative poten the negative sign here is about the magnitude itself. Ah, uh, yeah. For scalar quantity, the negative sign is about the magnitude itself. It shows that the potential at point P here is very negative, very low potential. Okay, very low potential. Okay, so don't write direction to the left or downward is wrong. Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, so that's it for potential. Um. Yeah, so uh, let's move on to the next one.